Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video, I'll show you how I use text replacement on my iPhone and iPad to speed up my typing. I can type pretty quickly on my iPad, but I am absolutely hopeless on the iPhone. Let's just say that I rely on autocorrect a lot. On iOS devices, your typing speed is also necessarily restricted because you have to take the time to switch keyboards for numbers and special characters. And there are some things that you have to type all the time that require those characters. For those frequently used but slightly complicated terms, I use iOS's text replacement. So text replacement is a feature that allows you to substitute a predetermined string of characters for a frequently used term or phrase. For example, we all have to type our email addresses a lot. We type it every time we fill out a form, we make a purchase, or we log into a website. That's a lot. Email addresses have an annoying at sign, so it takes a little longer to type due to keyboard switching and is prone to error, particularly if you are me. So here's what I do. Go into settings, then general, then choose keyboards, and then text replacement. So now you will notice that iOS has some default replacements already in there. So that means that if you type OMW, your phone will replace it with on my way. So you can see all of my replacements are already in here. By the way, these sync between devices through iCloud, so whatever you put in your phone will also be available on your iPad. So let me show you the replacement that I use for my email address. The shortcut that I have chosen is LLL. This is not a phrase that I ever use, which makes it perfect for this use. So every time I need to type in my email address, I type in LLL, and iOS changes it to my Gmail ad address once I spacebar away from it. So I have a couple of email addresses, and I have a shortcut for each one. For my Yahoo email address, which I use for junk mail, I use LY, which automatically, once I spacebar away from it, changes to my Yahoo address. So just having a shortcut for email addresses is spectacular, but you can use it for any other frequently used or complicated phrase. I'm gonna share just a couple of other ways that I use this. Instead of typing out the first line of my address ever, I just type ADD colon and it, it automatically fills in my address. Sometimes I use a row of asterisks to separate sections while I'm writing. Um, but unlike a keyboard, a computer keyboard, you can't just hold down the key to get multiple asterisks. Instead, you have to hit the key every single time for a new asterisk. So I made a shortcut. Five asterisks in a row and a space bar gives me 30 asterisks. So when I make comments in a document or to an email that has a bunch of questions directed at me, rather than reiterate or retype the question that I'm responding to, I just like to usually like to embed my comments in the original email with my initials. And in fact, I like to bracket my whole comment. So this is a huge pain in the rear to do on a phone. You have to switch the keyboards twice for each bracket and then hit the caps for each initial plus another and different keyboard change for the colon. So my shortcut is that I just type in my initials in lowercase and voila. So now I can just move the cursor in into the brackets to enter my comment. So on recipes, I like to abbreviate salt and pepper to S and P but with all the keyboard changes, it's practically easier just to type it out. So I created a shortcut of S.P, all on the same keyboard, to get SNP. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.